Are you struggling to select the right material for your snap fit joints so that your parts snap together without breaking? Well in this video we will review the number one thing you need to look for in a material so that your hooks snap in place and hold your parts together. And here it is, elongation at break. Elongation at break tells you how much you can bend the snap hook before it will break off. This means that you can predict whether a snap will break or not while you're still designing the snap. Simply. Compare how much the snap hook will actually bend to how much the material can bend. But how do you find the elongation at break value? Unfortunately, finding the elongation at break value is not always easy to do. So here are some simple steps to make it easier. First, start with a seller that provides good technical data sheets for all of their filaments. 3DX Tech, Push Plastic, and Matter Hackers are my top three choices. And 3DX Tech is my favorite. They provide the most thorough and consistent data sheets for all of their filaments. Second, filter out all of the marketing terms. Phrases such as engineering grade, advanced properties, durable, functional parts, production parts, all work great to convince somebody to buy a filament, but they don't tell you anything objective about how the material actually behaves. Third, scroll down to the bottom of the page and look for the technical data sheets. Many times you will need to download and open a PDF. And in some instances, you may even need to go to a different web page where the seller stores the filament data sheets. Next, open the PDF and look for the elongation at break. Just keep in mind, some vendors may name it slightly different things. So now that you have the elongation at break value, what do you need to do next? Let's start by comparing the elongation at break values for PLA, PETG, ABS, and nylon. In this case, we're going to use 3DX Tech filament. The elongation at break value for PLA is 8%, for PTG is 24%, for ABS is 10%, and for nylon it's 100%. So what does this mean? This means that a PTG snap hook can bend 2.5 times more than PLA and ABS before breaking. Similarly, a nylon snap hook can bend 10 times more than PLA or ABS before breaking. However, before you get too excited, there's one big problem with the elongation at break value that I need to tell you about. You see, the snap hook will begin to permanently deform long before fully reaching that value. So the result is that the snap hook may not fully lock in place once you insert it in. Unfortunately, determining at which point the hook will begin to permanently deform is a guessing game if you don't have the stress and strain curve. So how do you get around it? Well, as a rule of thumb, if you stay within 10 to 15% of the elongation at break value, then you will be able to design a snap that will last you for some time. For example, PETG has an elongation at break value of 24%. So that means you should design a snap hook that bends 2.4 to 3.6% elongation. However, having said that, the 10 to 15% is just a starting point. For your application, you may need to design the hook to bend more or less to meet your needs. So start with the 10 to 15% and adjust as necessary. So the ultimate question is what material should you use for your snap hook? And the answer is nylon. Nylon is by far the best material. The hooks will be able to bend far more than all of the other hooks. So if you have access to nylon, definitely go with nylon. But if you don't, PETG is the second best choice. Although nowhere as good as nylon, it is still two and a half times better than PLA and ABS. And because it's easy to 3D print, it might be the best material for most applications. Comment down below what material is working best for your snap hook. Now that you selected the material for your snap hooks, watch this video to learn about the number one secret to successfully 3D print snap hook joints.